Hello, hello. I've arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight. I don't know, I guess, I guess I will continue to be a theoretical medical professional. Anyway, hi, you can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. But yes, so, the Ark Knights continues. But yes, not much to be said there, I suppose. It is what it is, and it is what it was, and it is what it will be. So, anyway, Ark Knights tonight, continuing Operation Loose and Arrowhead. Once again, the goal is to continue that until such time as it is is concluded. Or at least, until such time as I am done with it. But yes, once again, we're not going to be focusing on the, uh, not going to be focusing on the challenge stages. Those are a thing, but I'm, they're not a thing that I intend to look into right away. But yeah, one other thing that I hadn't meant, or not mentioned, specifically a thing that I had not mentioned, a thing that I had wanted to mention before, but which I forgot about, is that uh, I did read on the wiki that apparently they are planning on rerunning the original Rainbow Six Siege event at some point. So likely we will be, well, yeah, assuming that I am streaming at that time, which is the most pretty, pretty likely. But yes, assume, assuming that I am streaming at that time, we will be streaming it. But yes, so. I guess not a whole lot else to be said. Once again, I intend to be going through this until such time as it is done, which means that we will be playing it every day until it is done. But yes, assuming that nothing else comes up. Once again, Sunday is the only day I, I get off of basically everything else. So it is the day the day that I take off of streaming as well, so we won't be streaming then. Other than that, though, once again, I plan to stream through Saturday, via, as necessary, and then again for as long as is necessary next week. I don't anticipate streaming much more than, say, Monday or Tuesday of next week, necessarily. Ideally, though, ideally, you know. <laughs> In theory, we could possibly get this done by the end of the week, but that seems a little bit unlikely. So we'll plan around maybe concluding Monday or Tuesday of next week. One way or the other, we do need to get this wrapped up by Thursday, because there will not be, uh, the event will have ended at that point, and thus it will be a long, long, long time, probably, until we're able to see any of this again. But yes. So. Tomorrow's stream, Friday, should be around 9.30pm Central Time. Oh. Expert new, thank you for the follow. But yes, been really enjoying your streams lately, how's it going today? Keep up the amazing work. Thank you, I am doing well. And uh, yeah, I suppose not a whole lot else to be said there. But yes, I am well. But yes, my arm continues to be a little bit of an issue, but it's okay. But yes, the unpleasant neural feedback is not much of a concern right now. It is uh, only something that occurs if we, if I, I don't know what you have to do with any of this, but uh, if I move my arm, but yes, um, and yeah, even, even so, I can move it a little bit without too much trouble, but yeah, anyway, so. Did I say the times? I think I said most of them. Or I said one of the two of them that are this week. So, Friday, once again, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, roughly. Saturday, probably closer to 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I can't say with too much confidence what we would be doing on Monday or Tuesday, because, uh, well, I can say with a good amount of confidence about Tuesday, that would be 8.30 p.m. as well. Friday, or Monday, could be delayed somewhat because there's some other business that I'll have to be doing early in the afternoon, or early in the evening, so that might push some things back a little bit. It shouldn't be a huge deal, but it is always a possibility. And one other thing I'm going to do, not that this is, has any real relevance to the stream itself, but 
I'm going to move my keyboards real quick such that the one that I am using for my streaming computer is in front of me rather than off to the side because I don't use the keyboard to play this game. And speaking of this game, we should probably play this game. So let me just, there we go. Get everything all together. Okay. So, video games. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind on VODs right now. I do need to uh, get back into that. But again, this is my main focus and I've been working on other things related to uh, making my existence with a partially non-functional arm more comfortable. So that is why I didn't put any time into that today, unfortunately. But yes, so last time around, we had completed a mission, but we didn't read the story that went along with it. We also received this block reinforcement device. Reinforces a forward barricade, increasing its max HP and defense. So yes, so it looks like for these next few missions, we're going to get a few more devices. Even though we've only got the one now, we might as well just, you know, equip it. Um, but yeah, we've used tools like this before in the Monster Hunter collab. Not quite these exact ones, because the mechanics of this event are different, but... but yes, I assume this is... I don't know if this is a reference to anything specific. I had assumed that it was a reference to the deployable walls that you can use in uh, Rainbow Six, or the wall reinforcement. Wall reinforcements. Mechanically, it functions similarly to them, from what I can tell, though, yeah, the walls in Rainbow Six Siege, or the wall barricades, don't look quite like that. So I thought for a moment that that might be based on a gadget. If it is, I don't know which gadget it is, or which character it is associated with. But yes. So, the after story of CR3. The story of CR3 was very fun. A very sort of uh, almost Scooby-Doo-esque escapade as these two teams uh, attempted to figure out what was going on in this warehouse. It's also very funny to me how they, they were very much essentially arguing for two, trying to complete two not strictly uh, not strictly mutually exclusive goals that in fact could work pretty well together. But yes, anyway, so. My head hurts. There you are, big guy. Here, ice for that lump, for that bump on your head. You're the kid who attacked me? Call me a kid again, you know, get another bump on the back of your head. What happened? They found the meds they lost, so the misunderstanding with us has been resolved. Meds? Misunderstanding? Resolved? It wasn't so hard persuading that poor driver to cooperate after all. Uh, I'm even more confused now. Where are we? Come, see for yourself. Yes, I assume we're back in the, uh, the art community. Use your medicine. Careful with it. Thank you. What's your name? Check it off the list. Mike. There. Two portions left. Let me check the list again. Maybe someone forgot to come. See if anyone hasn't signed. The last two are mine. Here you go. <clears throat> I'm... Sorry about today. We didn't know someone else was behind the robbery. It's okay. Glad to see the medicine ended up in the hands of those who need it. Gustav told me that a lot of people here are afflicted with a special condition that requires these suppressants to control. So, wasn't that Capitan at odds with Reynal? Where's Why is he stealing our meds to suck up to Reynal now? Hmm. The Polish again. I've... 
I keep meaning to uh, to look this up because I'm 100% confident that I'm not pronouncing it properly. Milos told me he's after Raynell's development rights in this district. And what if he gets it? Raynell had the rights himself and he couldn't do anything about us. Good thing too. It would be a shame if the local culture here got replaced by hotels and casinos. You've only been here half a day and you're talking like you know the place well. And in this half a day, everyone who came for their medicine was trying to promote their artwork to me. People have to eat after all. What's that on your arm? A braided wristband. I didn't plan on buying it, but then I saw the kid's hands full of needle marks. It'd be so clumsy. What did you say? Uh, I mean, would you like to take a break in my workshop? Fifty million Colombian gold certificates. Fifty million going once. Fifty million going twice. Sold for fifty million gold certificates. And what did you say? The warehouse kept losing stuff? Which one? The one from the pharmaceutical company that shut down six months after you acquired it. I seem to remember something of the sort. So, some people me stole meds meant for that neighborhood, framed you for it, and then tried to sneak those meds into that warehouse. To be precise, they tried to frame you. What do you want me to do, then? Thank, thank you for resolving the misunderstanding. There's no need for that, Mr. Raynell. Milos says you're leaving the accommodations I arranged for you. Have you found your friends? No, we just found another place to stay. Where? That neighborhood. There? Not that I'm against it or anything, but why? I saw something interesting. This is my workshop. There's a lot of space here. I work together with other artists looking for inspiration, sometimes exhibiting our work. Are those wet papers abandoned drafts? No, they're finished artwork. Finished? There's a guy who leaves his paintings outside and lets the rain dissolve the paint. The work isn't finished until that step is done. Hmm. The man who's flexing his muscles, is he looking for inspiration? Perhaps he is the inspiration. <laughs> Strictly speaking, he's a work of art, too. Performance art? Uh, read the plaque in front of him. Name, Pepe Turion. Artist, Pepe Turion's parents. Description, six months after creating this work, the artist, the artist abandoned it in the suburbs of the Souls due to lack of economic value. Little could they imagine that Pepe Torion would become one of the greatest masterpieces of Dust Souls 20 years later. <laughs> Eat it, jerks. Whoa, wow. I am the greatest originium artist in Dust Souls. Would you like to see my arts? Is he better than you, Techno? No one's better when it comes to originium arts. Hmm. Be careful and don't hurt our guests. Of course. The man takes out a few dark crystals from his pocket, each one glowing with an orange-yellow light. The visitors cautiously take a few steps back. The pure Originium Prime crystals begin to spin in the man's palm. Then he tosses them into the air one by one. He begins to juggle pure origini Originium. After a few rounds, he tosses all of them into the air at the same time, then looks up and catches the first one with his nose. Then the next... And the next, finally, all the crystals form a tower on the tip of his nose. The man turns slightly, and the tower of pure originium slides back into his palm. I thought arts was about flashing lights and fireballs. That's originium arts? What is this if not originium? And what did I demonstrate if not arts? I see... Everyone has such colorful methods of expressing themselves. Very nice. 
We're here. My biggest work lies beyond this door. I think I've said this not too long ago, but I want to say it again. Nothing could surprise me now. Two mannequin heads? So big? These are just the heads. You haven't seen the bodies yet. They'll be dancing the night our arts festival begins. They will dance when the twin moons begin to set and the sunlight has yet to shine. They will be the center of attention, the stars of the show. They will turn and pirouette on the streets, stepping in tune and gracing the entire community. A beautiful picture. I'm sure many people will be dancing with them. No, maybe. Mm, I don't know. You don't know? Nobody has danced in a long time, ever since that dance hall fire. Well, I suppose that would do it. I told you, they've got innovative structures, deep emotions, delicate expressions. Interesting. You've piqued my interest in what those people are doing. If you're going to that neighborhood, will you see what they're doing on my behalf? I thought you weren't happy that they planned their arts festival on the same day as your opening ceremony. Hmm, interesting, interesting. That's something I think we would want to take a note of. Because the, uh, earlier, the, yeah, earlier the artists were complaining that Raynell had planned his opening ceremony on the same day as their arts festival. But here, yeah, here Ayla is saying that, uh, Raynell was complaining that they had planned their event on the same day as his event. So I'm almost wondering if maybe Mateo had a hand in that as well. Worth speculating on, I suppose. <clears throat> Doesn't mean I can't be interested in what they're doing. I can observe what they're doing on your behalf, but I have no reason to intervene in your conflict with them. Of course not. Not that I wouldn't appreciate it if you could convince them to change the date. I can't make you any promises. You can't succeed if you don't try. Anyway, I'm surprised you're willing to learn more about what they're doing. You wouldn't be surprised if you were willing to learn more about me. I thought... Collection number 257, Antique Music Box. Starting price, 15 million gold certificates. Any bidders? Shh. I have to focus. He raises his bid card. 20 million. Anyone else? 20 million. He raises his bid card again. The same bidder to 25 million? He raises his bid card yet again. There's no one bidding against you. He raises his bid card yet again. I don't care what anyone else bids. I just want to raise it to the price I think it's worth. So yeah, given what we've just learned, or given what we've potentially just learned, the inkling that we've just gotten, it could be that uh, Raynell's not quite as uh, as to blame for what has been laid at his feet as, yeah, as, uh, not as to blame for what has been laid at his feet as we may have been led to believe. We certainly have a history. <clears throat> albeit a brief one, of seeing Mateo here try to blame Raynell for unfortunate events in this uh, place. Uh, I apologize for my rash decision, but we didn't think they would have the nerve to openly insult coalition government forces that... Uh, uh, I understand. Next time there won't be a next time. Uh, I'll accept any punishment if this happens again. You can fire me, court-martial me, anything. Capitan? Shut up. Now the brass knows about that stupid truck driver. They stripped him naked and dropped him at our front door. The brass considers an open insult to the coalition government. They asked for whether our relationship with Raynell can continue, whether there is hope of obtaining the land. What am I supposed to say? Stupid, incompetent idiots. Capitan, Raynell's secretary is here. Do you want to see him? What? Oh, right. We'd already seen that the secretary was involved with Mateo, but I think that he's the reason for this, actually, now that uh, 
now that we're thinking about what may have transpired to set off this feud. If you're just here to complain on Raynell's behalf, you can save it. Of course not, Mr. Mateo. Raynell's satisfied with your efficiency. You were just a little reckless. There are many infected in that community. Stealing their medicine is one way to take them down, but you must understand that if too, if many infected die because of it, making a big mess does none of us any good. We understand. What else did he tell you? What he means is that if you were too reckless before, perhaps a more cautious approach now can bring about a peaceful resolution. We've gotten to this point, and you want me to negotiate with those people? No, Mr. Mateo, there's no need for you to worry about it. Mr. Raynell has already sent someone to do it. Who? Miss Ayla and her squad. You're familiar with them, no? Your men have had dealings with them, and people have even confused them with your men. We have, we have an agreement, Milos. Don't forget it. No need to get excited, Mr. Mateo. Raynell doesn't intend to terminate his agreement with you. He just asks for cooler heads. We can talk about the land once you're calm enough to do so. Is there any message that you would like me to deliver to Mr. Raynell? I take my leave then. Okay, I'm like 100% certain that it's all, it's all on Milos. I imagine he's probably not doing this out of open malice, but he's probably doing this because he thinks it's in Raynell's best interest. You're playing games with me, weren't you, Raynell? You're dead, Raynell. Dead if I don't get that piece of land from you. Because, yeah, I don't... He didn't send Ayla anywhere. Ayla sent himself... Or, himself, sorry. Herself there. They sent themselves there just because they enjoyed the area, basically. So, yeah. Milos is very openly lying. Or rather, he is openly lying as far as we know. 150 million? He bid a music box to 150 million on his own? He may be eccentric, but he shows respect to what he considers art in his own way. Sounds like you're starting to change your mind about him. I've never made up my mind about him, Mayor. He's not easy to make your mind up about. Is that what makes him interesting? I'll admit that he's not your traditional boring art dealer. That's saying quite a bit, coming from you. You're not big on compliments, usually. But now, will you continue to work with him? I'm not sure, but I'll think about it. Come to think of it, we couldn't have adapted this place so quickly without his help. We did save his life, so we're even on that. <laughs> hey, Ella, do you have a moment? Of course. What is it? Papa wants to see you. Mr. Diaz? Why? He has some questions for you. Very well. I'll go and see him. And just so you know, he might act pretty angry. He wants to intimidate me. He may not admit it, but yes. All right. So, with that, we can continue. And see us. So once we have cleared this stage, I don't think we need to clear it especially well, we just need to clear it. Um, once we have cleared this stage, then we can get Fuse, and I think we should have enough... Well, I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough certificates to get, like, Fuse fully maxed out, but we'll get Fuse at the very least. again. I didn't get very much in that first sip because I got distracted by the fact that my water bottle was making a slightly unusual sound. It's fuller than it usually is, so it, I don't know. The sound wasn't like weird. Like it wasn't a sound that you wouldn't associate with a water bottle. It just doesn't make quite that tone usually. It's usually not that full. Anyway, so let's see. Barricades no other mechanics we've got two spots to two spots to control and we've got drones 
I imagine the drones are probably going to be... Yeah, they're probably going to do some scouting. I think we saw drones that could do that before. So we'll need to be careful with those barricades and ensuring that they don't get destroyed. But we did just get a device that should help us do just that. But yes, beyond that, there is a large central area that we should be able to concentrate some fire into if we use a lot of ranged units. But yeah, we will probably need to... It might be good to deploy two snipers, actually, to uh, whatever the sort of the, the type of sniper that focuses on drones. I don't remember what they're called off the top of my head, but um, yeah, the type of sniper that Jessica is. Deploying two of them might be good depending on the quality or the quantity of these drones, but whether or not it is strictly necessary remains to be seen. But yes. So, one way or the other, I don't think we need to make any immediate adjustments. Again, other than perhaps wanting to have... Well, actually, yeah, I forgot that we did take Jessica off the team. So, let's put Jessica back on the team. Just give your orders and I'll carry them out. She's not our strongest option, but... I don't know, I like her. So... Yeah, I think we should be good. Ayla should be able to contribute somewhat as well. Ayana as well, because she has, yeah. All of the, uh, since they use firearms, all of the Rainbow Six operators can attack like flying enemies, even if their uh, archetype wouldn't ordinarily be able to do that. But yes. Everything should be pretty okay. I don't see any more reason to make any more adjustments for right now. I think we're probably fine. But first, a cutscene. <clears throat> no, there's absolutely no way I'm letting Raynell's lackeys join our festival as long as I'm here. Festival is just around the corner and I have to make sure nothing goes wrong. But they've already returned the medicine, and Raynell is fine with it, too. We don't know what they could be hiding up their sleeves. Can you promise me that their intentions are only good? Why so quiet, Techno? Papa, I know that they're Raynell's people. The, picture, the papers are full of pictures of them and Raynell together. There's no arguing that. But that day, when my orbity flared up, I fell to the ground and could, I couldn't move. I was all alone. I... Thought I was done for. Just as I was about to accept my fate, they showed up and saved me and brought me back to the neighborhood. I felt the same kind of despair in that fire many years ago, Papa, until you came and saved me from the flames. How's that the same thing? I'm a firefighter techno, saving you is my job, and I wanted nothing more than that. But them? Are you sure they have no ulterior motives? I'll get someone to keep an eye on them if you were worried. You can't just let them watch, Papa? Please? Why are you being so stubborn, Techno? If you vouch for them, you'll be the first one blamed if something goes really wrong. Come on, Papa. I won't let them make any trouble. <sighs> Why do you always start acting so spoiled every time we argue? Oh, please, Papa. Please. Fine. Stop batting your eyelashes. It doesn't work on me. It seems like it worked on you. You seem to agree pretty quickly. But it used to. Is that so? You didn't have such an outrageously colorful hair back then. You didn't drape yourself in black yet, and you didn't make clinking noises with every step. Yes, todo suave. What's wrong with dressing up all pretty like you did before? Enough. Put your pouting and get their leader to come find me for a quick talk. Should I tell her to come here? No, we'll chat on the beach. We'll get that vacation yet. Miss Ayla, 
you know why I'm here? Probably not for the beach. I'm sure this beach is nothing compared to the amazing views you must enjoy working for Raynell. Hard to say. A clean beach behind an alley full of trash makes for a surprisingly pleasant view. The way the light hits is much prettier than how it shines on the neighborhood. Nothing much we can do about that. There's new, too many buildings with uneven heights there. As for the trash, it used to be even worse. I had to bring a team here myself to clear it all, and now any aspiring litter bug faces my wrath. I believe anyone visiting Desol should always get a chance to enjoy the beach. Am I right, Miss Ayla? I didn't come here to litter, Miss Diaz, Mr. Diaz, only to enjoy the view, same as you are now. I like how clean, clean and quiet it is. No rowdy tourists or casino ads in sight. That's because the wind is so strong here. No one wants to develop the area. You can see it in the trees. Their leaves only grow where the wind doesn't blow. They're resilient, and they still thrive even though La Brisa is so strong. You mean El Viento. Sorry, I'm not good with your local language. Miss Ayla, you say you just want to watch us, and it's not like we have anything to hide. But you should remember to keep your hands to yourself at all times. Techno likes hanging out with you, and the community is happy to have your people here as well, so I'll play the bad guy here. If you betray her trust and hurt her feelings, I'll make sure you pay the price, even if it costs me my life. You care very much for Miss Techno, isn't she just your subordinate? Well, she does refer to him as Papa, so, uh... I never married or had children. Since I saved her from a fire, she has essentially become my daughter. That's all I have to say. I'll leave the rest for you to decide. What a roundabout way of showing paternal love. An infectious disease caused by an industrial mineral that people here can't live without. It manifests discreetly, has a variety of symptoms, and so far cannot be cured. I can't imagine what it would be like if something like oil was infectious. Did you say something, Senor Gestal? Oh, nothing. Just rambling to myself. Here's the medicine and equipment you asked for. Anything you need? I think this should be enough. Since the loss of the doctor in charge of this neighborhood, there's been a shortage of medical help here. Everyone's glad that you've been lending a hand. Ah, that's his notebook on oropathy over there. He was infected many years before he eventually... Uh... <sighs> I can tell just from just his handwriting that he was patient and meticulous in his work. All of us do miss him very much. Oh, also, about the people here you were looking for, I sent a messenger to get your request out quick. I only met them a few times before, so I'm not too sure if those operators are the same ones you've been looking for, but, uh, having hope is better than having nothing, right? Certainly. I can't thank you enough. But, uh, messenger? That's right. Do you not have international calling here? International? They do not. Senor Ernesto, I have an appointment today, and it's now. Ah, it's you, Ellie. This is Senor Gustav, our new doctor. Hello, Senor Gustav. Amma made some bread for the new doctor, so this is yours. Oh, please, thank her for me. What kind of bread is it? A croissant? No, my little friend, it's croissant. You say it like this, croissant. <laughs> uh, excellent, excellent. I love the opportunity to be pretentious about how things are pronounced. Croissant. <laughs> croissant. Yes, hello, physicist. Good to see you. Weird, no one says it like that. Oh yeah, I trust you're doing well, physicist. Hi, Tiberius. I don't know why I felt the need to read that out, but yes, hello. I am greeted, in fact. Trust me, that's, that's the proper way. 
No, no, most people usually pronounce it like croissant. No, no, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Are you okay, doctor? You don't look so good. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Have you been unwell at all lately? I may not be very good at doing a French accent in general, but I do think that I can pronounce croissant, croissant pretty well. Hey, you two, that arm needs to be a bit higher so it can connect to the shoulder later. You got it. Making two puppets dance together. Ambitious. Doing a bad French accent is always fun at least. Fair enough. I try not to be too... I try not to go too hard on it if I'm not super familiar. Because I don't, you know, I don't want to be rude, ideally, but... I don't know, I do like doing accents. I do like doing accents when I can. I do need to study the characters' accents a little bit more. I've not heard a lot of their dialogue. But yeah, I've not heard a lot of their dialogue, so I'm not super familiar with how they talk. But yeah, it's been... I've been fairly busy these past few days with uh, other circumstances, but it is what it is. It took us half a year from concept to making the actual thing, but it looks like our efforts haven't been in vain. Did you plan all this? Me? Eh? No, the original idea came from Papa. Just finished a bunch of big shifts in a row, so I feel ya. Yeah. But yeah, it has been work for me, though. It has been a, a personal matter. Yeah, I've mentioned it before, but I uh, suffered some damage to my left arm here, my mechanical arm. So uh, I've been trying to sort that out, you know. Mostly it seems, from what I've gathered, that the uh, neurotransmitters are the issue. Um, or not neurotransmitters, but neural... I don't, remember, I don't know what the word you would use for it would be, but... But yes, the parts that connect to the rest of my nervous system... Are the main issue but there is some damage to the joint as well so looking to get that fixed before too long and i've had to put in some time to get used to not having a fully functional arm and also into setting up for repairs <clears throat> mr diaz pat pat for your arm thank you i can't believe he's actually the year that fire happened was particularly dry. When the dance hall went up in flames, the blaze was so intense that people couldn't escape. It was Papa, then, who insisted on fighting the fire and saving us despite the orders he had. He tried his best, but couldn't save everyone. The fire scarred us all, and nobody wants to talk about it. We can't dance the night away like before, not with all that pain still inside us. But within the past few years, people have slowly regained the desire to dance. Except for Papa, he still feels guilty over the people he couldn't save. And yet he still proposed this. Papa says he can't dance with everyone, but he can at least be the one that gets everyone together. You know what, Techno? I was shocked when I first got here. The other city planning has the place jammed with illegally built structures and jam-packed with people. I thought the whole place was a giant fire hazard. But there are lots of firefighting facilities in your streets and alleys. You've got quick evacuation routes and plans in every building. And then I thought, whoever runs this place is actually pretty capable. And I'm doubly sure of that now. That goes without saying. Hey, what's going on over there? Well, it seems that the good times could not last, and of course they couldn't, because we do have a combat mission that we have to do, so... I suppose we'll be getting on with that pretty soon. Oh no, okay, this is a different issue. Okay. What happened? I think that arm stopped moving. Very relatable. <laughs> What's going on? This is bad. The arm got tangled with the puppet's body cables when it moved. Can we detach and reposition it? No, it's jammed pretty tight. Where exactly? I'll get someone to untangle it. It's an awkward spot between the third and fourth floors far away from the windows. 
use a safety harness? Maybe. We'll give it a try. Uh, we got to be very safe with this. Can't be messing around when you're dealing with, apparently, three-plus story... Uh, oh, eighth floor. Oh, dear. Okay, so it's not... It's not uh, an eight-story tall puppet. <laughs> not quite that large. Okay, anyway. Isn't it kind of dangerous to send someone down from the eighth floor like that? That's much higher than the puppet's head. They don't have other options. They can't find a spot to anchor their ropes on the lower floors. Can you not move it with a remote control? Oh, that building's outer walls don't have any good spots for easy climbing. We handcrafted these puppets and their internal structure is real complicated. Only su someone super familiar with them could handle this. Be careful. Almost a little bit more to the left. Oh no, the technician fell! Uh-oh. <sighs> He's fine. He has a safety harness on. Can he try again? I'm afraid not. That drop has his legs shaking uncontrollably. No, Hermano, I really can't do it. I'm afraid of heights. I... I... But you're the one who's the most familiar with the puppet's internals. Anyone else would just find it near impossible to fix. Oh, it was so scary when I fell. I really thought I was a goner. Why not call Techno? She designed it, after all. Heck no. Heck no. Is he alright? He's fine, but he's scared out of his wits, so the boss was hoping you could try your hand at it. I don't know a thing about the insides, though. Huh? Didn't you design them? I mean, I only designed what they looked like. I wasn't involved in the actual production. Then what should we do? Heck no, mind letting me infuse have a try? We both have experience with heavy machinery. Huh? Miss Ayla? You're already done talking with Papa? Give us a chance, Techno. But didn't Papa say... I can help out too, Techno. We all have some engineering experience, so I'm sure we can do something. If nothing else, we can reinforce it. We can make this, we can make this puppet be unassailable. I I guess, uh, yeah, I guess Iana wouldn't have that kind of experience because she is an attack operator. I know that much. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, basically in all of Rainbow Six Siege, there's two operators that I know anything about. And they're Iana because I played her once and uh, I guess I did play Blitz once too. I think he's also an offense operator, but they don't remember actually. And Tachanka. Because who doesn't know Tachanka? Anyway. You're not afraid of heights, senorita? That's the 8th floor. Knowing theory isn't exactly enough. Don't worry, we've done a lot of rappelling in our time. I once dropped out of a 20-story building, mister. This'll be a piece of cake. No, you can't do that. You stay here. I'll go up myself. Heck no? I'm sorry, Ella. It's not that I doubt you, but I promised Papa I wouldn't let you participate. No matter what. But will you be able to fix it, Techno? I'll try my best. Hmm. <sighs> Can you do me a favor, Mayor? Of course. What is it? Those guys over there with their eyes on me. Get them off my tail if they follow me. I need to find Fuse. Oh, so Papa Dia sent some backup. I can do it, but where are you going? Up there. There's no way Techno can handle the big guy. Ayla? Hey! Uh, where did that lady go? Uh, sorry, mister, but I need your help with something. Huh? Uh-oh. You can't just sleep here. But yeah, she needs your help with practicing her CQC.
Milos? That mechanical restorationist from Iberia is here. Are you ready to see her? Of course, bring her in. Senor Renal, may I ask what it is you need me to see? The music box, on the table. Oh, famous design designer, Alicia's fam sensational masterpiece from 15 years ago. It is truly beautiful. I can feel a sense of comforting tranquility. Look at the carving of the female figure on the lid. Serene and beautiful, her eyes full of compassion, with a faint hint of, hint of bitterness on her lips. Truly an indescribable work of beauty. You can spare me the details, madame. I've spent the past few several days with it, so I'm well acquainted with its form. The drum is badly damaged, and I'm not sure it can be fully repaired. It's fine. That was my doing. I don't need it repaired. There is a music score in the center of the box, and I hope you can make a new drum to play that. A uh, hidden compartment? The man picks up the music box from the table and turns it upside down. He lodges a fingernail into the seemingly tightly sealed bottom panel, and it opens to reveal a folded note inside. Raynal carefully unfolds the note and places it, on the, places it on the table, its yellowed hue showing its age. It is a neatly handwritten score. How did you know about this hid compartment? Oh, I was there when my mother worked on this box. I saw her put the note in there. Oh. So this isn't just a, uh, a, any uh, old piece of art that he's collecting. This is something with personal significance. Very nice. Sit. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Going up to the eighth floor from here and then rappelling down? Of course, it's the quickest way to get to our target. Also the most dangerous way. You don't trust me to keep you from falling? No, I do, but we are not welcome here. <laughs> Such a public move would only make us for a target for criticism when they decide to make us their enemies. You're talking more than usual. And you're talking less sense than usual. I just don't want their idea to go to waste. Why are you so concerned with these delusional artists? Rude views? My goodness. What's wrong with delusions? It just means draws will, chop, draws will drop to the ground when they find actually succeed in their impossibly difficult self-imposed challenges. When you put it that way, all our operations are just like that. And who would say otherwise? You need to move fast when you land. People are after us and they'll catch up soon. Don't rush yourself either. I'll buy you enough time. Yeah, I think Fuse is an attack operator too. I guess this isn't relevant. Anyway. Thanks. Alright. Non-traditional exhibit. Alright. So, we've got some of these... Oh. I should have uh, checked what those crossbowmen do. I don't know which side I need to defend most urgently, so I guess we'll just kind of go for it. Um, I feel like I want Ella out sooner rather than later. So I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the spot she was in was less than ideal because we can't reinforce that barricade anymore. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do these... Let's see. Okay, so yeah, so it is sort of a one-time thing. I don't want this guy getting too close. Uh, he's going to be able to shoot Ayla from there, and that would be bad for us. So, how do we want to swing this? We can't defend everyone equally, but... Ready to heal. We can get ready to heal. Slow them down. Hmm. Um, we do need if you some treated, more defense, so. Given circumstances, it might not go amiss to try to uh, deploy what Poisson. Arceus, kind of yes. Deals ranged physical damage and exposes nearby allied units when defeated. 
Okay, so those units, yeah, spare caves and all that, we know that. Okay, so yeah, so that is pretty straightforward. So, this is probably an okay, hmm, actually, ah, hold on. Yeah, the right side is actually far more exposed, so we'll need to be careful of that. So. Is, yes, Jessica is going to get shot a little bit here, so we do need to do something about that. We'd like her to get shot not very much, if at all, but, um... Hmm. I'm, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't like what Ayla is doing, or what is ex she is experiencing. Um... Death Eater could contribute somewhat. I don't know if she's really an ideal option, but she could have blocked some shots there while still being fairly tough. So yeah, that is definitely a an aspect of these sorts of operators that I have, or yeah, these sorts of operators that I have not really explored much. All right, the Farseer. Was it Farseer or Farseeker? I can't remember now. Is out of range, and there's not anything we can do about it. So. Um, I guess I could deploy Doc, maybe, but, um, yeah, we need to, uh, I guess we need, uh, a caster, um, hmm, more so than that, though, we just need, like, more damage on them for longer, I suppose. I suppose if there's one good thing that comes from them not being super tough, it's that they don't, or, yeah, that comes from them... Ah, okay, so it also repairs the barricades. I hadn't considered that possibility. Um... If I use... Hmm. Again, we put Tamimi in a situation where if I, like, use her, she can't use her skill, so that's less than ideal. Um, I don't like you being this. there and doing that, so let's, uh, not have you. Um, if you want you we're at the unit closer. limit, and Who's things are looking not so good, so we, we do need that guy blocked. I didn't really think about how we were deploying Ayla there. Um, so yeah, we do need to be a little bit more careful if we want to make it through this, and, uh, we've got a leak in our defenses. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do about that, unfortunately. Um... The enemy's over there. Ooh, Astesia can't be healed. Oh, dear. Um... Okay, this is bad. Granted, we probably don't need Astesia that badly. But, still not a great circumstance. Um... Hmm. So, Yana can do some shooting. Oh, ah, actually, right. One thing to keep in mind is that we are dealing with invisible enemies here. And Yana is basically purpose-built to deal with invisible enemies. That being said, she's not purpose-built to block, so... Dead on my feet, but it's not time to quit yet. So, that didn't go super well. Yana also being able to simply ignore an attack is probably also going to be good when dealing with those crossbowmen. <clears throat> Sit. Okay, what do they do? Heavy crossbowman ambusher. A sniper issue with a mass produced. Genetically boosted crossbow. Though expensive, they are well worth the price tag, capable of stunning targets for long durations after being charged up. So yeah, so they are invisible, and they launch a straight shot when positioned in a straight line against with an allied unit. Fires one bolt that in the target's direction that deals arch damage and inflicts stun. So, pretty straightforward that. But yeah, so we didn't get Okay. 
So, issues to correct. We didn't get a whole lot of... Uh, pardon. Yes, issues to correct. More snipers would be useful. Ayla can sort of fill a role similar to that of a more traditional sniper. There might be spots that would be better for her, but, but yeah, she can, you know, do sniping. Help deal with those drones a little bit quicker. Um, let's see. So Ayla is good. Um, if we had just put like Jessica in this space here, right next to where the drone spawns, that probably would have paid off a lot. Just being able to deal damage to it for a longer period of time. Um, because yeah, Ayla's positioning doesn't matter to how her traps turn out, so we shouldn't worry about that. Um, hmm. Other than that, we ran out of blocking on the right hand side. I was maybe a little bit too aggressive with blockers on the left, because yeah, my thought was I would want to use Poisson for. But yes, I would want to use Croissant for, uh, for additional block, considering that uh, considering that Myrtle is periodically unable to block. But we don't really need to worry about it that much, I don't think. Because if we, you know, as we have learned, if we just kill things, then we don't really need to worry about getting blocked that much. So, 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 so. Um... I suppose if we want another unit that's fairly tough and can stand on range tiles, it could also be good to keep using F Eater or potentially also switch her out for a pull operator, a hook master as they're called. Because they, I guess I haven't looked into their stats too much, but I'm assuming since they can also be deployed on melee tiles, they're probably at least competent at when it comes to defense and health and all that. Better than a sniper, I would assume, at least. But yes. So. Anyway, the reason why I would think about using one of them over a push operator is because being able to pull in enemies means that they can sort of stun them for a little bit longer or effectively stun them. They don't get stunned stunned, but they, you know, don't move as much. But yes, the enemies will be delayed for longer and uh, hookmasters are also able to uh, attack flying units, which could be good if positioned correctly. Um, beyond that, I don't know of anything else that needs to be. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of any other immediate improvements. But yeah, again, I'm not using F Eater specifically for any reason. She just kind of ended up on the squad just to fill a slot, so we could just as easily swap her out for someone else. And perhaps just as easily should. Um, we don't have any... Oh no, I was going to say, we don't have any promoted hookmasters, but that's entirely incorrect. We do have Snow Sand. I don't know if I want to use Snow Sand specifically, considering that uh, we're not dealing with anything that she is specifically designed to counter. Granted, we don't necessarily need to be. Do I have... I don't think I have... Well, I was going to say, I don't think I have a lot of Hookmasters. There aren't a whole lot to be had. There aren't that many in the game, I don't think. But yeah, Specialists are usually one of the smaller... Or, yeah, Specialist is one of the classes that has a smaller variety of different units in it. Probably just because they all, you know tend to be a little bit weird, and so they're probably a little bit more involved to develop. Granted, we don't strictly need to have any particular hookmaster or whatnot that we use to be upgraded or anything. We can just use one, just sort of, again, more or less arbitrarily. And so, to that end... All right, rope. What better way to pull people in than with rope? That being said, it is a little bit late, and I don't want to be staying up too late too much. So we might save this for next time, actually. Yeah. Because if we keep going, I'll probably have to 
like not read the end story again until next week and I don't want for not next week next stream and I'd rather not do that because there's always the possibility that I'll forget and then we'll just accidentally skip a core version of the story and that would be truly bad not what I want to do so with that said let's wrap up for tonight <clears throat> don't want to push myself too too much because again I don't know I'm keeping a... I'm already planning on streaming more than usual on top of... There we go. On top of the various inconveniences that come with my current life situation. So, I do want to take some rest when they are available. So, let's not push ourselves too hard. We've done the thinking. We've done the planning. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for visiting. It's always good to see folks around. Always good to see folks chatting. But yeah, you know. I don't know. I don't bring it up a whole lot, but, you know, I don't get a whole lot of chats around here. So it's always nice when someone stops by to talk. But yeah, anyway. Um, let's see. So, business. Tomorrow, we are streaming Arknights once again. But yeah, as I understand it, Sheps will not be available. If she is, though, we're going to do the collab. <laughs> yes, Comfy Tiberius story time. Thank you. But yes. Anyway, I believe this upcoming week, or this week that we are in, should be an off week for the collab. If it's not, then we'll switch to that. But for right now, we're planning on more Arknights. And one way or the other, Arknights will be again on Saturday. And again resuming next week, Monday or Tuesday, depending on circumstances, until such time as the event is cleared. I am confident that we will get through the event in the allotted time, as long as nothing catastrophic happens, which, you know, who knows. But anyway, so all that being said, ah, right, 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 right. So if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can always find a target myself and now that I have set out that call, I can now start talking about the schedule in some more detail. So yes, so. Any stream, yeah. Uh, Lumi streaming Honkai Star Rail, oh yeah, yeah. Now it occurs to me that I, I've seen Lumi uh, streaming alongside Sroka a lot, but I haven't, never actually got around to following Lumi. I, I actually thought about that the, the other day, but I, didn't get around to it. <laughs> but yes, anyway. So yeah, I'm reasonably familiar with Lumi, but I don't think I've seen any of Lumi streaming on their own. But yes. Um, yeah, today was meant to be a Sroka Lumi collab, so Sroka not been feeling well, so surprise Honkai stream. Mm. But yes. So yeah, where was I? Right, schedule. Yeah, also, if you could get me uh, a link to, uh, or just uh, Lumi's full uh, username. I guess, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have sending links blocked. So, I don't know, you can try to send a link if, and we'll find out together whether or not that's uh, available. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. But yes. Anyway, so, schedule. Thursday and Friday streams are usually around 9 p.m., well, I aim for 9 p.m. Usually they end up around 9.30, so maybe I should just say 9.30. So, Friday, we should expect around 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Saturday, we can expect around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And again, next week, Monday, and yeah, the Monday stream may be at, I don't know. I don't know precisely when that will be because I don't know precisely what my Monday is going to look like. But yes, Tuesday, I'm going to be undertaking some extra work to get the arm back in place and functional so we might i don't know that might also affect the schedule depending on how tired i am after that so i'm not going to commit to anything too specific for that but the next wednesday stream should also be at 8 30 p.m central time and we'll talk more about next week's schedule when we you know get to next week so anyway one way or the other. Gotta set up this raid for Luminous Look B. Yes, a knight. Yeah. Luminescent Knight VTuber. 
as mentioned, playing some Honkai Star Rail. I do a little bit of Star Rail myself. Not a tremendous amount. But it was fairly interesting from what I played. Luminously. There we go. Oh, nope. I almost forgot the extra eye there. But yes. Anyway, as I was saying, I've played Honkai Star Rail a little bit myself. Uh, and it looks like uh, they are interacting with the only Honkai Star Rail... Well, I guess one of two. <laughs> one of the two Honkai Star Rail characters I'm familiar with, Dr. Ratio, who I know of pretty much exclusively because his name is very funny. But yes, the other Honkai Star Rail character that I like is uh, Gui Nai Fen. But yes, anyway, so the raid is set up. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.